everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hello. And I am Sam the Treehawk. Healy. The oh. Treehawk. We'll come up with different names each time. Okay. The Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, first of all. Yeah. Uh, ho, ho, ho. These are our Christmas shopping guide list. Today we're doing stocking stuffers. Stocking stuffers. These are games that you might want to buy for that someone in your life you don't know what to get for. You want to stick it in their stocking? Now, I mean, maybe the stocking needs to be slightly larger than normal. You might need a shoehorn. <laughs> he said one of the words that makes me go, <laughs> So anyhow. Shoe would be the word, by the way. <laughs> so, okay, so stocking stuffers, smallish type of games to get people for Christmas. These games are, uh, as with all our lists, we try to pick games that are out at any given point in time. So hopefully you can find these available somewhere online. Let's go to Z. What do you got? All right, my first pick is a small dice game called Harvest Dice, and this is in the style of Roll and Write, a very uh, popular Roll and Write games, in which you are going to be uh, gathering different veggies, drawing the little cute veggies onto your board, trying to make different combinations. You have to plant them all together if they're the same kind of thing. You are also, if you ever get some veggies that you cannot plant, well, you can feed them to your little piggy, and he'll be getting larger and larger, and that's going to give you some, some victory points at the end of the game. It's a very straightforward, attractive-looking game. Quick, enjoyable. I think it's one that's going to go over well with a lot of different people, and it's light and fun, and it's got a really cute theme. So, check that one out. That is Harvest Dice. My first one is a series of games, actually. Uh, they're like Man, this, this cat size. Man, series of games. They're like this size. Uh, they're called Unlock. Uh, well, that's because I didn't want to pick any one. If you find any of the games called Unlock, they work really well. Mm. These are escape room games. Like if you're trapped in an escape room, that's how these work. Didn't he put escape room games on the other one? Eh, shh. Yes. Spoilers. Anyhow, um, but these these are different because you can reuse these over and over again. So when you're finished, you can give it to somebody else, and then they could play through it too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they work really well. They they're tied with an app, so the app can give you clues. You'll have to type numbers into the app sometimes to get it. Like a calculator. I, no, like a digital code on a safe. Oh, okay. Anyhow, I really like these. They're a lot of fun. You're looking for maybe sometimes hidden numbers. There's all kinds of cool Ooh. things. Each one has a very different theme. Some are much harder than others. They're a lot of fun. The Unlock series. All right, my first one for this list is one called Strawberry Ninja. This is uh, put out um, by Strawberry Studios, go figure. And this is a game where you are trying to deduce the location uh, almost in a memory kind of format because all of the cards are flipped over uh, face down uh, at the beginning of the game and you're supposed to kind of try to deduce where the strawberry ninja is and capture him uh, before the end of the game basically it's a certain number of rounds and uh, certain things can only be done cards will shift will be shifted by the people uh, you can shift one and then shift another and then flip over that second one and that second one will either have text on it that will tell you what to do in the game, or it's going to be nothing, or it'll be the Strawberry Ninja. And now that you have him, you have to move your little cat meeple what? onto Start where Start with the cat the meeple next time. Strawberry Ninja. And so it's really cool. It, it scales well in a lot of different age groups. Uh, it works well with little kids on up to adults as well. I think probably kids will like it the most, but Strawberry Ninja from Strawberry Studios. Are you done? Like, Does it come with an app? <laughs> no. Does what it do have got? any actual strawberries? No. All right. My second pick here is a, an escape style game as well, Ooh, much yeah. like the Unlock series. This is called Deckscape, and there are two so far. I'm recommending the one called Test Time. The second one that they came out with I thought was not nearly as good, but this is much like Unlock, a game that is uh, once you are done playing and you won't really replay it, you now know all the answers, but you can pass it along. And it is a it just about the size of a deck of cards. It's very engaging. You are supposed to be in a, in a lab going through some crazy you know, challenges. Someone you know, puts you in there and you got to get out, basically. And it's, it's really engaging, very simple style in which you are uh, looking at the front of a card. If you figure out that puzzle or you think you did, flip over the card. It tells you if you did it right or not. Move on. So you never get stuck in this game. If you really don't know, then just flip it 
Oh, okay, that's what they meant. And you mark that you didn't do one. And then you get scored at the end. I really enjoy this one because it is so quick and, and it flows so well. So that is Dexcape Test Time. Put that in your stocking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My next one is 10 Minute Heist. This is a small game in which you're going to put out a bunch of cards on the table. You are a bunch of thieves going in to steal stuff from this wizard's tower. He's probably Oof, not too happy not with idea. you. And on your turn, you start at the top of the tower because you came in from a hot air balloon. I don't know how you got to the top, but you're going down to the bottom. I, air oh, I, oh, I know what you did. You climbed up the wall to with go in legs. the window. No, I didn't. You use your arms. Okay. Anyhow, you get in the window at the top. Anyway, on your turn, you can take any card on the board that's on your level or lower. And, but once you go to a card, you cannot go back up. Oh. So you're trying to get sets of cards, have the most of different colors, and you know, mm -hmm. various cards give you points. You can go get the really good cards, but then other people might take their time and get more cards than you. I see. The game literally takes around 10 minutes. It's a lot of fun, very simple and easy to play. 10 minute heist. It also teaches you the benefits of stealing from wizards and towers. Yep. That's good family things. I like it. Get on my level and take a card. What's your next one? My next one is Hero Realms. Hero Realms from White Wizard Games. I've never See, there's a connection heard there. This. Hero Realms is actually a really cool game. It is a based, uh, not loosely, pretty strongly on its predecessor, Star Realms. Uh, but this is a hero fantasy style game. But mm. if you pick up this game, do not just get the base game. You also need to pick up the character packs that come along with it because the character packs are where it's at as far as making Hero Realms a different game than Star Realms. Uh, Star Realms is a great game. Hero Realms is a little bit of a better game and the character packs rises it even more. So, so that's just a stocking stuffers for multiple Christmases. Yeah. For just, just not multiple people. That would be messed up. Yeah, it would. I give them <laughs> you one. You get the base game. game. You just get the character pack. Well, maybe yeah, if you have two kids, you don't get along. They better get along. Oh, you're making them, you're forcing them to get along. I just cut down the box this in is half. Our this is our get along game. No. I like it. I don't know. That's Hero Realms. From White Wizard Games. My last pick is a card game called SpyNet. It's a very simple set collection card game with a spy theme. Ooh. And in it you are gathering spies in front of you and then if you have the most of a kind of spy, well you can also take that some uh, stuff they've hacked into or something like that. And you can take that card, but you have to control that kind of spy first. And so you are kind of doing this tug of war style set collection that is two levels. First you can actually take uh, the card and then you do so and the game is quite fast it has a really neat drafting sort of system in which you can look at one card or more in a pile and if you don't like them you put that back face down and grab the next pile but once you are done picking a group unless it was the first one you'll add a card to every group you skipped making the choice for the next player a little bit better really enjoy it that is Spinet. Huh. All right. My last one is Mint Works. It's the smallest game on my list. It looks like a little tin of mints. And inside the pieces look like mints. Don't eat them. Um, it's a little worker placement game where you're going to put guys, workers hmm. down and try to get different things to accomplish different missions to win you the game. There's a lot of these games, and usually they're big, giant box fulls of games. This is one where they condense it down to a really small thing. I'm not even sure... I don't know that mint has anything to do with the game or not. I think it's just the way that it looks. But I like it. You know, sometimes I'm not always wanting to play these small, tiny little games, but this is one that works well and feels a lot bigger than it is inside. It's so, fresh. And refreshing. Mint Showing works. Enjoyment goes on and on. <laughs> All right. My last one for the list is a game called Hanami Koji. Hanami Koji is a quick little two-player game. Uh, it's put out by, I believe, uh, here in America, it's put out by Quick Simple Fun Games. Emperor S4 is the uh, original producer of it, though. And uh, they have really packed a lot of game into a very small package. On your turn, you basically have one of four different things that you can do on your turn. You must do one of them, and you must do all of them within the course of the game. So it's not like you can pick and choose, oh, I don't ever want to do that, or I don't ever want to do this. You must do all of it, and they are excruciating decisions. Some of them are take four cards from your hand. Choose 
uh, and, and make pairs out of them. Now you lay them down on the table face up, your opponent gets to take two of them, and then you get the ones that are left. So it has this I split, you choose uh, mechanism going in it, and it is excruciating throughout the entire time. A very cool two-player game, Hanami Koji. Go check it out. No, oh, that's it. That's the last one. That's the last Stuff one. Stuff those excruciating. Things. You have to cut off a finger for one of the choices? No. Anyhow, uh, if you like this list, we have many other Christmas lists for all different types of games and such. But these are the ones that you can stick in for Christmas Eve. That's when we open our stockings and see what's inside there. Mm. Sometimes there's great stuff in stockings, but a lot of times it's just junk. This is good it's stuff. True. Put it's it true. In. Put it in there. Get a leg up on your shopping, folks. Uh, yeah! Until next time, I'm Tom Vassal. I'm Bad Pun Garcia. Sam Healy, the Tree Hawk. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.